Well, hey, good afternoon. This is Dr. Bob here at Proactive Wellness and Injury Center, and I do want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to allow me to share this information with you, because this is a very confusing subject indeed. I'm very pleased and happy to say that we've been using lasers in our practice for probably, well, since uh, 1999. So it's a little over uh, 20, 20 years and uh, have had great success with it. So look, uh, without any further ado and uh, without any more uh, corny remarks from me, I'm going to go ahead and clear this video. We're going to go ahead and get started here in explaining to you uh, all about lasers. Um, so with that, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and get started here. So what is cold laser therapy? And I'm very glad you asked that question because it's a very confusing issue. And really it's not better known, it's, it's probably better known by the masses as low level laser therapy. And there are, uh, it's also known as cold laser and hot laser therapy. There's two categories of, of lasers, if you will. There's the hot lasers. That's what you see in the in the science fiction movies, you know, where they put that beam on and they're they're melting metal or burning metal and cutting it in half. And then there's the cold laser therapy, or also what's known as the low level laser therapy or non thermal lasers. Those are the ones that we use in our center, and they promote healing. They accelerate the healing process, and it's a very very exciting. Um, adjunct to our to our arsenal here it uh, lasers are the most researched and um, validated modality of the 20th and the 21st centuries they really are the, it is exciting the applications of lasers and and how we're using them now in our quest to help people achieve the best performance of their life especially in our office so the question then is how do they work? How do these low level or non-thermal or cold lasers work? Well, during the application of, uh, of the laser therapy, there's gonna be a light that's applied to the surface of the skin. Now we have different lasers where we have violet lights and or red lights that are applied to the skin depending upon the goal that we're wanting to achieve. And what happens is that the body tissue is going to absorb that light through a what's known as a photochemical effect. It's a process that also occurs uh, with photosynthesis in plants. Remember from biology, you learned how the plants would take the sunlight and they would convert it through a process known as photosynthesis. That means the light synthesizing some change in them and they would produce the chlorophyll or the chloroform and that would turn the plants green, okay? So the absorption of the light increases in the body. It increases what's known as cell regeneration to restore the cell function, and it's going to aid in the natural healing process. So basically what it does, how we use it, is it will accelerate the process uh, that already is going on in the cell, and it accelerates healing. I can give you numerous examples, but probably one of the more um, notable ones are that we oftentimes we take care of athletes that come to us uh, from different sports, whether they be uh, elite athletes, professional athletes, high school athletes, whatever. But many times these athletes will go ahead and they injure themselves, which results in a fracture, a break of a bone. We've had individuals that have come to us and we've using the cold or the low level non-thermal laser in in addition to other things, we've, we've combined these therapies together, but it's resulted in healing a fracture in two and a half to three weeks, where apart from using the laser, it may take eight weeks to, to heal the, the fracture. So the point I'm trying to make is we can go ahead and we can accelerate the healing process, not only in regards to fractures, but soft tissue injuries, wounds, uh, decubitus ulcers, you know, those bed sores that, that uh, diabetics get on their feet or on their legs or wherever it might be. Uh, Post-surgical wounds, uh, burns, it goes on and on and on. And also 
with the regeneration of organs, uh, kidney disease, liver disease, heart disease, all types of disorders or conditions that people present with, the laser can, can accelerate that healing process that the body is engaged in. So it's quite, quite powerful and very beneficial. Um, so that's how we're using it in our center. And the question now is, well, is it safe? Well, uh, yes, it is. Low-level laser therapy is very, very safe. In fact, laser therapy was cleared for use by the Food and Drug Administration many, many years ago. And uh, we're kind of slow in getting going because the Russians, uh, the Europeans were using lasers long before we introduced it into the United States because of the politics and the hoops that we have to jump through. But yes, it's very, very safe. There are no contraindications. However, I must state that if, uh, if a person is pregnant or lactating, then you know that might be a condition and or if he or she has been diagnosed with cancer and it's still active or if they have had cancer, but it's been remissed for a, a year or more, it's safe to use. But then again, I, I'm digressing here. I'm getting off the subject. But is it safe? Yes, it is. It's absolutely very, very safe. As a matter of fact, in comparison to traditional treatments like medications, um, the therapy is uh, not habit forming. There are there, there's no adverse reactions that are going to take place, and um, it's not like taking drugs or invasive therapies the the low level uh, therapy or laser is very very safe and the research continues to support the efficacy the effectiveness of laser therapy and additionally um, several professional organizations now have endorsed uh, therapies as well like and, and uh, you know the world health organization not that i put a lot of you know, credibility to that organization, but just for explanation's sake, yes, they have endorsed it. The International Association for the Study of Pain has endorsed it. The American Physical Therapy Association has endorsed it. The American Chiropractic or the International Chiropractic or the World uh, Chiropractic Associations, they've endorsed it. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So it is recognized, it's been validated, it's been researched and it's been proven to be not only very effective, but very safe as well. Okay, so another one is because many people have an experience that, you know, they're thinking again, they're defaulting back to that hot laser. Well, does it hurt? You know, is it gonna make me hurt? As a matter of fact, uh, most people aren't even aware of it uh, being administered to them. That means that there's no sensation at the time for most people when they're experiencing laser therapy, especially the, the non-thermal or the cold laser therapy. Now that's not true if you're using hot lasers, but again, I don't wanna get into that neighborhood. I wanna focus on the low level or the non-thermal or the cold laser therapy. They're all the same. Those three are, are just interchangeable, those names. But the point is, does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. And as I said, most people aren't even aware of it because one of the beliefs or, or the benefits, I should say, of, non, uh, of this type of therapy is that it is painless, absolutely positively. And sometimes the sensation described by patients is one of a, you know, a tingling or they describe it like a feather going across the area or a little buzz or whatever it might be. That's rare indeed but sometimes there are individuals that do experience that type of sensation. But for the most part, nope, you don't feel a thing and absolutely no, it does not hurt. So if, um, and this raises a lot of questions, you know, as to whether it's beneficial. It's absolutely beneficial. And what can we benefit? Well, we're gonna get into that as we, we go on uh, through this presentation here because a lot of people are wondering, well, uh, what does it help in that? So who uses the, the low level lasers and uh, for what types of therapy? Well, um, let me see. Uh, most of the doctors that use it now, again, there's two different camps. 
and we'll talk about the chronic and the acute applications here in a few moments. But for surgery, those types of lasers are the hot category, the class four are the hot ones. They're the ones that cut. So you may have an ophthalmologist that uses the hot lasers when they're dealing with cataracts or, or uh, other types of uh, optical surgery, eye surgery. There are surgeons that use it, uh, perhaps on the brain. Neurosurgeons may use it. Heart surgeons may use it when they're doing open heart surgery. Uh, when they're doing those types of applications or, or uh, therapies, uh, that laser would be the hot category, the class four. But for our use, uh, we have doctors uh, that uh, are doctors of chiropractic use the low level, the non-thermal, or the cold lasers. Doctors of veterinary medicine may use that type of laser. Uh, and acupuncturists may use that type. Uh, nap naturopathic doctors may use that type. It goes on and on and on. But those are the types of clinicians that may go ahead and use this. So for this, uh, my intent and purpose, I'm wanting to educate you and let you know about the type of laser that we use in our center so that there's no misunderstanding in that, okay? Then there's the chronic and the acute applications. Now, chronic means it's been there for a long time. Uh, and um, the acute means it's just happened recently. So we can use those in both applications. Uh, the, low level, the low level lasers can help in both of those conditions, as well as even using it uh, with post-operative pain. We have patients that have come to us uh, after they've had surgery and they're in pain because of the surgery, resulting from the surgery, and it's been very, very beneficial to them. Now that would be an acute condition. They just had the surgery, they're in pain as a result, and they come in. Chronic conditions might be, well, you know, somebody strained or sprained their ankle four months ago, and they're still hobbling around and they're in pain. Or they may have had a, uh, a shoulder injury that happened last summer, and they're just getting around to succumbing to the pain. They say, look, enough is enough, and they come in. That would be a chronic uh, type of injury. So again, the acute condition is one that that's, you know, has a severe sudden onset. You know, you, like I said, the sprained ankle, boom, you're walking and all of a sudden you tear those uh, tendons and ligaments or whatever it might be. And the chronic condition uh, contrasting the two would be something that's developing over a long period of time. So for use in the acute conditions, the, the therapy or the laser it is particularly effective when administered immediately after the injury, which is true of any problem that you have. The sooner you address the problem, the sooner you're going to get better and you're going to have minimal damage and minimal expenditure as compared to the longer you let something go, the worse it's going to get, the more complex it's going to become, uh, the longer it's going to take to heal, the more damage it's going to do, and the more expensive it's going to be. That's just the nature of the beast. But unfortunately, most of us have, um, you know, a knack for procrastinating and putting things off, uh, telling ourselves that it's going to go away and it's going to get better and all of that good stuff. Or we put up with it, put up with it, put up with it until, you know, it reaches that level where we finally succumb to it. And um, that's where most people are. And unfortunately, when they're in a situation like that, they, they want it resolved, even though it's been going on for six months or eight months or whatever, they want it to be gone in a day and a half. And it just as great as the lasers are, even with them, they have a limitation. It's just not going to work that way. But anyway, let's move on here. There are the minor injuries and the sprains and the strains, you know. The, the laser is very useful in, in uh, benefiting or healing or helping the body, I should say, heal these injuries in sprains like uh, ligamentous sprains, you know, the, the, the attachment of bone to bone, the muscle strains, tendonitis, the bursitis, or tennis elbow, neck pains, low, low back pains, knee pains, all kinds of pains 
that are associated with muscles and whatnot, it can help in that. Even headaches and, um, oh my gosh, I, I don't want to get off track here because I could really go off on a tangent here about all of the types of different types of patients that we've had in, in my center, my uh, clinical experience as well. It goes on and on. You, it's unbelievable. We've had people who've had second and three, deg uh, second and third degree burns. Uh, people who have have lost their ability to uh, focus their uh, regarding their eyesight. Uh, glaucomas, cataracts, um, hearts, livers, kidneys, uh, all kinds of things. Anyway. Uh, getting back to this slide, yes, it can help it, like in sports injuries, running injuries, whatever it might be, in those types of injuries. Not that they're minor to the person who's injured, but the category, you know, we place them in is that of minor injury sprains and strains. Also, in the wound healing, like I just talked about the, um, the individuals that have had second and third degree burns, uh, cuts. Uh, post-operative wounds. Now, those are wounds, even though they've, they've been stitched up. That patient has been wounded. That individual has been wounded. The laser therapy is very, very beneficial in, in uh, helping them to heal those wounds, um, including, you know, the difficult uh, to heal wounds that are related to diabetes. You know, if you know a person who is a, a diabetic and they have those open sores or wounds, the bed sores, the bed wounds, or the, the what are known as decubitus ulcers, um, you know, they're notorious for not healing. And that is uh, very, very severe because what happens is typically the progression, uh, what can happen is hypothetically, they have these wounds at the bottom of their feet they get special shoes and the socks and that, and uh, the wound doesn't get any better. It gets worse and worse, and they, they debride it. They, they try to help it along in healing, and it doesn't do it until inevitably uh, the wound gets so bad that it may result in amputation of the, of the foot. And then the wound progresses and it results in amputation of the leg below the knee or just above the knee. And it goes on and on. Uh, it's, it's very damaging. And unfortunately, you know, the people aren't aware of this modality, of this benefit uh, that they could be receiving from the lasers. And yes, you know, the question often comes up, well, don't doctors know about it? Um, sadly, yes, they do. Well, why don't they use it? Well, because I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to speak for the doctors. You'd have to ask them that question. But look, the point here is that we can help those types of people if they want to be helped. And uh, the lasers are, are certainly one of the main guns that we would use in, in addressing these, um, these wounds that are related to uh, diabetes. And additionally, you know, the, the application of the laser therapy can be employed, as I was saying or earlier, to improve the surgical recovery, the, the time that's needed, and also to reduce the uh, pain, and not only the pain, but the scarring that's associated with it. We've had uh, great success with women who've had C-sections or people that have had, uh, you know, umbilical hernias and they have this ugly scar or vagotomies, and uh, it just goes on and on and on. But, you know, especially for the female, if, uh, if it's an area uh, over, the, over the body that she, you know, is exposed from time to time, and it's, it's very, you know, uh, attracting the eyes of other individuals to that area, or it's just upsetting to look at, you know, typically. So they want to get rid of that weaken. The lasers help tremendously in those situations. Yep, you weaken, we can uh, disintegrate those scars. Even people that have had, you know, back surgeries, neck surgeries, spinal surgeries. Yep, the scars can, can uh, be responsible for the pain that, that that individual is in now because of that scar encroaching on the nerve tissue. And it can be melted away, if you will, by the laser application. So anyway, 
we move on now to the acute pain conditions. So the, the laser therapy can be used to help people that have acute conditions like, you know, carpal tunnel. That's one that comes to mind. A lot of people, unfortunately, because of the, the keyboards and the texting and all of that other good stuff that we're using the hands with or the fingers on, um, it can result in that. The, uh, the, nodes that develop, you know, the swelling inside of the wrist can, uh, causes compression that leads to numbness or weakness or tingling uh, of the hand and in the fingers and whatnot. So the lasers are very, very beneficial in, in helping to reduce or eliminate that. Um, also, uh, diabetes, uh, the pain that's associated, the peripheral neuropathy, thyroid dysfunctions, uh, fluid retention from pregnancy or from menopause, you know, helping the lymphatic system to drain, high blood pressure, uh, autoimmune disorders, like, uh, the, well, one that comes to mind is rheumatoid arthritis, you know, the type of arthritis where the fingers are crooked and you see those big bumps or those those swollen areas around the knuckles and that God help them. Those people are in, in a lot of pain and the lasers, can really, especially the non-thermal lasers, can really, really help them out in an acute situation. As we progress, you know, we move on to the chronic pain conditions, uh, one of which is fibromyalgia. Uh, we've had patients we've been able to help in those situations as well. That's probably one of the more well-known chronic pain conditions. Uh, pain in the muscles or the bones, you know, the musculoskeletal pain, all over the areas of tenderness, um, systemic lupus erythematosus, it can help in that, um, uh, or, or otherwise known as lupus for some people. Um, the general fatigue in that, uh, sleep and cognitive disturbances, uh, the laser has just, because it helps the body, to heal itself. It can be used in a multitude of different types of named conditions, right? As speaking of which, that, that joint pain that people come in with, you know, the knee pain, the shoulder pain, the frozen shoulders, the ankle pain, all of that, you know, the spinal and other joints, they become inflamed during, uh, because of injuries and they can flare up uh, from time to time. Like I just mentioned a few moments ago with rheumatoid arthritis. You have good days, you have bad days, and all arthritis, right? Even the osteoarthritis, for example, that's probably the most common type of arthritic pain and disorder that people are experiencing. And, and this condition develops when the flexible tissue called the cartilage, you know, between the, in the joints, it starts to break down or erode. And the function of the cartilage is, is to allow the bones in the joint to glide over one another. Well, when you don't get that, that um, ability, when you do move those joints, it results in pain. And uh, we, you know, we, we can definitely, or the laser can definitely help those people out. And even to reduce the swelling that's in that. In that. Now, in our office too, we see people who have, yep, the herniated disc pain. And for that, you know, they, many of them choose to get shots in the area, the cortisone shots, the epidurals, the chymopapain. I don't, I don't, maybe they don't use the, the chymopapain anymore, but they do use a, a um, heated filament many times. The doctors will uh, inject or put into the back a, a filament that comes in contact with the disc there, and then they turn it up, they heat it, and then the heat will cause the disc to shrink or to melt. I don't know what better way to describe it. And that takes the pressure off of that nerve that's coming out of that area, and that helps to reduce the pain. Unfortunately, that's just a temporary effect because the cause has never been cleared up, so, boom, boom, here comes on the scene the, uh, the lasers. What the lasers can help the body do is not only address the effect, but more importantly, address the cause that's resulting in the effect. So, yes, with the herniated discs, the pain symptoms, you know, by many patients, they describe that they have a weakness, a numbness, a burning, a tingling, 
Uh, some even say it's like an electric sensation, like a shock or pins and needles that are going in there. The laser has been shown to be very, very beneficial and very, very effective in dealing with that, with that situation and helping the body to eliminate it. Um, in our office, we have uh, lasers that have been cleared for the use of um, the peripheral neuropathies, plantar fasciitis, uh, there's just a myriad of things. And, you know, I could dedicate a whole webinar, if you will, just on the litany of conditions. But um, I would, you know, we're not here for that. We're just, we're just topically talking about the different types of, of benefits that the lasers can be used in. And speaking of which is skin rejuvenation. We also have lasers. I have well, there are offices, not unlike myself, that have lasers that can help with acne and acne scars and all kinds of skin disorders. And uh, if, if you weren't on one of our previous uh, webinars, I might uh, suggest that you look to our YouTube uh, channel, which is uh, Dr. Robert Bartosh. And there we've got a presentation where I did one exclusively about acne and uh, the lasers there, how they can benefit um, getting rid of acne as well as uh, psoriasis and burns. I talked about the second and third degree patients with the, with the burns, um, uh, vitiligo, edema, swelling of the skin, you know, uh, the dermatitis, um, also rashes. I mean, it goes on. We had uh, an individual with hives, it goes on and on, but the, I guess coming back to the original statement, yes, the non-thermal lasers can be very beneficial addressing skin challenges, skin diseases or disorders. So if you know people out there that are, that are suffering with that, I mean, gosh, it's, it's hard to hide and it does attract a lot of attention and it's very, you know, it's hard for people to go through life when they've got that, that, those types of problems. So if you know somebody like that who's experiencing in that and he or she hasn't had any success, you know, feel free to send them our way because we're here to help anybody and everybody that we can achieve uh, and obtain the best performance of their life. And look, the bottom line is this. If uh, having come to us, if I believe that we can't help them, I am morally obligated to... Uh, to let them know that we can't and try to help them find maybe a, a source or a practitioner that can. And that's our promise to you and to those that you might send to us. So anyway, getting back to the lasers, there's a growing body of evidence. Now, if you want evidence then, uh, and you're studious, I would suggest you going to a website called PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D.com, I think it is, or .org. I don't know, I've got it locked in, so I don't even, no, it's PubMed, just PubMed. Click in the low level laser or research done on non-thermal laser. That's how you do your searches. And you'll probably come up with over, I would guesstimate right now, probably over six and a half thousand to 7,000 citations, research studies that have been done on all the categories of laser regarding their efficacy, their benefits, uh, everything you wanted to know and more about lasers. And it's not anecdotal, it's not opinionated, it's factual, it is empirical. Like I said earlier on, it is the most researched evidence-based modality uh, and substantiated, validated modality of the 20th, 21st century, right? So that's where you want to go to see if it can, if you can be helped with it. Um, again, not opinion, it's all fact. And even the osteoarthritis study, you can type that one in too. There was a study that was done in the Joint uh, Journal of Rheumatology, and it compared the outcomes of uh, those individuals that are get, getting laser therapy uh, in use to treating their osteoarthritis and their rheumatoid arthritis, the two most common types of arthritis. And the patients with the rheumatoid arthritis that were treated with the laser therapy had a 70% reduction. Yeah, 70% reduction in pain compared to the placebo group. 
And that is uh, life changing, if you will. Ask anybody who's suffering from the pain of rheumatoid arthritis if they would like to have it reduced, if 70% reduction would be beneficial to them. And I'll tell you what, they won't even think about it. They'll just exclaim, yeah, absolutely. And then also um, there, the, the others with the osteoarthritis, not only in the reduction of the pain, but also in the reversal and the arresting of those types of conditions as well. Again, you can go to PubMed and you can read all the citations, you can read all of the research there that's been done, okay? And look, don't, don't go to WebMD to find your answers. That is, um, you know, th those are hired guns on there. They're, that's sponsored. So they're gonna, they're gonna direct you to drugs and this and that. And all you're gonna be doing is addressing effects and not getting rid of the causes. Even though it sounds, you know, a WebMD. Don't go there. If you want, if you want the truth, go to PubMed. That's where the research is. They're not. It's not funded by, um, you know, uh, pharmaceutical companies or you know, interest groups. It's going to be just the research. That's what you want to find out. All right, great. And then the joint pain findings. There was uh, more studies that were published in the Journal of Manipulative and Physiological Therapies. And they compared you know, like spinal manipulative therapies and combined with the laser with patients that didn't have either. And the, the effects were profound, to say the least. They found that the addition uh, is, and the effectiveness of both of those therapies combined, that is the spinal adjustment, the chiropractic adjustment with laser therapy, it was, it was phenomenal to say the least. In the, in the reduction of time, the uh, efficacy of it, the elimination of pain, the repair of the damage, and uh, the minimal cost that was involved compared to other approaches, it was unbelievable. But hey, again, don't take my word for it. Do some research. I mean, think for yourself, right? Look it up and see what the research has to say about it. And you'll see that this fact is confirmed by more than two witnesses, all right? So we move on then to the future uses of lasers. You know, there's ongoing research for the uses of, of laser therapy, especially the non-thermal, and it's very, very promising, very promising. As a matter of fact, uh, it's used, we've used it for post-concussions, we've used it for traumatic brain injuries, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, in, in uh, the health, the overall health of the brain in and of itself, uh, epilepsy, ADD, ADHD. There's going to be some exciting research, mark my word, the various, the, the very lasers that we use are right now getting the FDA approval so that they can put it out there for autism. Yeah, helping autism. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Uh, spinal cord injuries, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, all of these things. You know, unfortunately, people have been told that they've got to learn to live with it. This is all the better they're going to get. Or when you injure the brain or you have a brain disorder, it never gets any better. That's garbage. The body has been fearfully and wonderfully made. It's been made to be well. It's always working with that end in mind. And if you can add something to it, if you can aid it, if you can remove what's preventing it from achieving its goal, and you can aid it in its efforts to achieve its goal, then it's going to achieve its goal because it wants to be well. Forget the name that's been assigned to the condition. The body's not impressed with the name. It just wants to be well. Whether it's a cold or cancer, that body has been made to be well. And that's what we're after here. So in our quest to do that, to achieve that for, um, for, for the patients that come to us, we utilize the the profound efficacy of low level lasers. And we, we got a bunch of them. I mean, I got a toolbox for, for different ones. Anyway, that's what you wanna do. Never say 
I mean, never give up when it comes to the body, okay? All right, so let's move on. And I just wanna review with you some of the benefits the laser therapy can help to reduce pain, uh, reduce inflammation without any contraindication, without any side effects at all. Uh, we can use it for acute and chronic conditions, whether it's something that just happened or whether it's been going on for years. Uh, you might go to our, our uh, YouTube channel again. I've got a video there. This particular person that comes to mind when I say chronic, he was burned. I, I believe it was a gas or it was charcoal lighting fluid or something that spilled over his legs and his legs caught on fire and he had second and third degree burns. Now, and he came to us and I think, and don't, don't hold me to this, but I think it was about three years after his legs were burned, or maybe even longer. But uh, I, we took the pictures of that, and he was going to a facility, uh, and I won't name who they were, but he was just going there, and he was going every, every two months, three months after he was burned. And they were just looking at him and saying, okay, we'll see you next time you come in. Okay, we'll see you next time. And there was nothing being done. There was no change. Honest to goodness, he came into us. We used a low level laser therapy. And this was a few years ago, one of my weaker lasers at the time. And you will not believe the change. This was years after his skin was burned. It was already scarred and charred and the whole nine yards. And they said, well, this is all the better it's gonna get. Well, they, they didn't know any better because he got a whole lot better. So anyway, and you know, they say seeing is believing. So if you're one of those that needs to see in order to believe, because I know a picture is worth a thousand words or 10,000 or however, it depends on how much you talk, but you can see for yourself the differences there. So look, it's never a matter of time. I mean, understandably, it's gonna take longer to heal if it's been there longer, but the point is that it can be healed because that body's never changed. It wants to be well. So whether it's acute or chronic, and again, another benefit, it's non-invasive, can be used by anybody, everybody, anytime, every time, all the time. You can do it, no, no reasons you can't. And the sessions, it's not a one size fits all. It's gonna be specific to the individual, to the individual, to his or her goal and his or her needs. That's how you determine it. And um, you know, like I said earlier, the sessions are usually quick, and they are painless. You're not going to feel any pain at all when you're using uh, non-thermal or low-level laser therapy. It's great. It's wonderful. And I'm so thankful that I was introduced to it over 21 years ago. And I'm very fortunate that I can uh, benefit the patients that come to us with it. So look, I know I covered a lot of information here today. So this is uh, my offer to you. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate in contacting us. Um, we've got some sheets. If you're near us, well, you can stop by the office or ask us to email it or whatever. We've got a sheet and it's not uh, all inclusive, but it lists many of the conditions for which the lasers are beneficial. If you'd like that, you can certainly call us or you can email us and request that. And we'll be more than happy to send that to you if you don't already possess one. Um, and also, if there are any questions that you might have, certainly give us a call or email us. And if you have a condition that you're not sure if uh, the low level laser therapy might be beneficial to you, the same offer is extended to you. Give us a call or email us. And we even, if you're a distant patient, we can even set up a thing where we can have a video chat. Yep. And you don't have to download any software either. You don't have to download anything. We can go ahead and, and just send you the link. You click the link and you all and I are connected and we face to face can uh, have a conversation whereby you can ask your questions and we can perhaps decide uh, whether or not we think it can be a benefit to you or not. Okay, so again, I want to thank you so very, very much for allowing me to share this information with you. If you know anybody else that might be benefited by knowing this information and be served by using a low-level laser 
uh, for their condition, please, please share it with them. I would be very appreciative. And if it's something that can help with their situation, I assure you that they're going to be very appreciative too. So once again, I do want to thank you for allowing me to uh, share this information with you. And uh, until the next time, and as always, God bless you. Thank you so much.